Ladies and gentlemen, I warn you, to compensate for very real, very scary subjects, I like to tell jokes. So, you can handle the hard, scary data with my hilarious personality. You may want to go get this data someone else after someone else is taking it from me. Okay? Sounds great. You big wuss. What am I doing here? Okay. I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Interplanetary war, asteroid onslaught, asteroid attack. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to take a break from weather doom? Me too. So buckle up, we got a special edition of Asteroid Fight Club. We got some serious asterisk, asteroid doom coming our way. Okay, great. You may have been mildly alarmed by the fact that already in 2017, seven weeks in, we have now had eight asteroids pass closer than one lunar distance to Earth. That is the distance between Earth and the moon. We've had eight giant metal rock space rocks whiz on by Earth, giving us a close shave. And as you know, these things can either destroy cities and civilizations or really mess up your day. So yesterday, we had 2017 Dork Sucker 109 that passed March 5th at 0.9 lunar distances. It was about 37 meters. But trust me, if that hits you, you're dead. And that became the eighth near-Earth asteroid under one lunar distance in 2017. And 2017 is only seven weeks old. So that means we are averaging over one holy wow that was close asteroid a week that sounds like an uptick to me so i'm sure astro mutt and dazza will chime in to let me know if my uptickiness is overstated i don't think it is so what we're gonna look at here to take our being mildly alarmed up to oh my god we could all die very soon we're gonna look at the asteroids over the next 17 days leading up to march 23rd and here's what i found so 20 of these asteroids that will be passing in the next 17 days were all found in 2017. That's a giant batch of brand new asteroids. There's a serious uptick. In the next 17 days, we will have 20 near-Earth asteroids pass by Earth. And that's crazy. That is definitely what I would call an uptick. You can look for yourself here. I, I, I miscounted it first, and so 20 is actually up here. Don't Von Braun me, bro. I know. I know. I know. Now, none of the listed asteroids seem that close. Like, the closest one is 2017 EW at 4.5 lunar distances. But they usually find the smaller ones that come within a lunar distance within just days of them passing Earth. Sometimes they find them after they've passed Earth. So let's run down our quick list, shall we? We had 2017 Dork Sucker 109, a traditional classic asteroid belt asteroid. Then 2017, Douche Zone 108, another classic asteroid belt asteroid. 2017, Eccentrically Lumpy, this one has an orbit, kind of like Earth's orbit a bit. I found it four days ago. Man, these programs don't work crap. 2017, Ergonomically Fantastic, goes all the way out to Jupiter pretty much. I found that five days ago. 2017, Dandelion Liquid 34. It rotates and orbits between Earth and Mars. They found that one 13 days ago. 2017, Daring Dairyman 38, a classic asteroid built asteroid, found six days ago. Condition code 8. The higher the condition code, the worse it is. The worse they know where it is going. 2017, ew, another classic asteroid built asteroid. They found that one day ago. 2017, Earthly Orange. Orbits outside of Earth and just outside of Mars. They also found that one day ago. 2017, Dickweed 108. It's got a strange orbit, but can still be classified as a classical asteroid belt asteroid. Oh wow, they found this one two weeks ago. They've looked at it 72 times. And this asteroid 2017, Dolphin Vagina 35, is one of those stalker asteroids. The kind of shares an orbit with Earth. It would zoom in more and stuff, but the app that NASA gives us really is meant to induce migraines. Now we're on to 
2017, California is flooding. 33. Well, that one goes way out past Jupiter, and they found it 21 days ago. Yeah, I'll brave it. And what goes, that one almost goes out to Saturn's orbit, which is pretty rare for an asteroid. How many times did they look at it? They've looked at it nine times in 21 days. Must not be that fascinating. All right. 2017. Dennis Ray, 35. Or Duck Rocket 35. You can choose. It's another Earth stalker. They found it nine days ago. And have looked at it 22 times. 2017. NASA. CGI. Number one. It goes. It orbits around Earth. And then a little bit outside of Mars. I'm seeing patterns. Are you? They found this 32 days ago. And have looked at it 64 times. Which by my public school math is twice a day. Now we got 2017. Black Lettuce. 30. Or Big Liz Lemon. 30. Or Big Liar. 30. You can choose. These are like asteroid name. Choose your own adventure. That one orbits Earth and Mars. Pretty much right exactly in their orbits. Holy smokes. This one must be fascinating. They've looked at it 302 times in 34 days. It's like nine times a day. Condition code six. I wonder what's so fascinating about that one. I'll have to look back. What do we got next? 2017 Lewis CK-1 orbits Earth and almost out to Jupiter. What could be called still the classic asteroid belt. They found this one 14 days ago. I've looked at it 26 times. 2017 Daring Asterisk. Daring Asterisk 36. Or we can just call it DA. Because remember 2014 DA, which supposedly passed by Earth harmlessly, but then another asteroid came out of the sun's butt that NASA didn't see or know about and then blew up over Chelyabinsk. It had nothing to do with DA-14. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean? Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I'd kind of keep an eye out for these. We got two DAs on this list. And this one goes to Mars, to Earth. And they found it 10 days ago. And it's also one of the interesting ones. They've looked at it 91 times, which is 9.1 times a day. 2017. Electric monkeys. Earth and the... It orbits inside of Earth and Mars. Found it two days ago, and have looked at it basically 11 times a day. 11.5 times a day. Okay. Maybe some of the comets we've had coming in close lately have knocked some of these off their orbit. 2017, Epic Klutz it goes outside of Mars and Earth's orbit. Another classic asteroid belt, asteroid asterisk. They found it four days ago. They've looked at 41 times. Condition code 8. They've looked at about 10 times a day. That's fascinating. 2017, Darling Oaf 109. Another classic asteroid belt, asteroid. They found it 13 days ago. They've only looked at it 15 times. Must be really boring. 2017, DA-109. It's another DA, by the way. Yeah, 2017, DA-109. Divine Alphabet-109. Another classic asteroid belt asteroid we gotta keep our eye out from. And last but not least, 2017, Constant Radiation-32. Goes outside of Earth and Mars. They found it 19 days ago and have looked at it 59 times. Condition code of 7. Now here's interesting. Just to, put it in per just to put it in perspective, they found planet Sedna, a total badass which rewrote the rules of solar system orbits. They've only looked at that 192 times. So, will 2017 be the year of the asteroid? That I don't know. But I do know that this date is very interesting. Is this data real? I don't know. Are asteroids even real? I don't know. Like, why haven't we scattered 100 GoPros in the asteroid belt, put them on 24-7 feeds? Why have we never actually seen a picture of the asteroid belt? You have fisheye lenses, man. You could definitely get two asteroids in the same shot, I think. Especially if you were using infrared stuff. But as you can see, the main asteroids we were looking at, they're like 11 lunar distances, 7 lunar distances, 15. A lot of them 4.5, 9.6, 11.8. So that's not the thing. Like, we're not worried about those hitting us. It's the smaller ones they haven't found yet that seem to be coming with this giant batch of asteroids. Because having 8 Asteroids passes by in, one, in under one lunar distance in one year is a lot. Um, maybe Astro can try and rebut me on this one. Some of them are kind of big to find at the last minute, like 2017, Earthly Orange, 110 meters. 2017, Dickweed 108, 180 meters. 2017, Energetic Kangaroo, 95 meters. 2017, Divine Alphabet 109, 110 meters. 2017, Constant Radiation 32, 240 meters. So some of these are larger than buildings, skyscrapers, and they still haven't found them at the last minute. Remember, we really don't have an asteroid defense system in place, asterisk, 
I always like to say, hey, if they can ashify the Twin Towers, they can probably ashify asteroids. Unless they want to let one through, for whatever dubious reasons. And, let's see, the slowest one is traveling at 3.68 kilometers per second. The fastest one is traveling at 24.25 kilometers per second. So, do what you want to with this information. I just thought it was interesting, fascinating, you know, and we have had quite a bit. Will we have more? Maybe. I mean, if this video is boring, forgive me. Sometimes these highfalutin mega data dump videos are hard to make interesting, which is why I give the funny names. What else? I want to look at something. Astro rank. Go over to Astro rank. I don't know. They say that they mapped out all the asteroids. I don't believe them. Not one bit. Because they all travel in basically around in a circle. Not many of them go in the weirder orbits we see with the... Not many of them go in the weirder orbits we see with the basic stuff. Yeah, Earth is Earth. Earth is the blue dot. Earth is the blue dot right there. And we're going to start the thingy. And supposedly, they have this thing mapped out. I don't know about that, though. Looks like there's a giant cloud over here. And here we go. Yep, yeah, looks like Earth's got a bunch of asteroids chasing after it. Coming high and tight. But nothing on this one seems abnormal. Although this, this asteroid belt cloud is coming in. I know, Sage always talks about we're going through a much thicker interstellar medium cloud than usual, which is comprised of dust and gases and junk and debris and crap. Space crap! Anyway, so, there you go. There's your asteroid doom. And this video felt really sloppy. I'm sorry. Okay. Keep you guys posted. Peace out. God bless everyone. Remember, if you see an asteroid coming, don't look at the flash. And stop, drop, and roll. Unless it's coming right at you. Then just run, man. Run! Or turn around and yell at it. Or pull out like your wand. And try and use magic powers to send it back to where it came from. You never know. That might work. And it's as good as, not better, than any, op than any options you might actually have. Alright. I'm done.